สัมมเทปัตตาสาวาตังปะเนมะมิสังกังเยจะสังเกตัยตาจะเยจะสังเกมกตาปัญจมปานนัจะเยสังเกอาหังวันเตมิสาเปเตโซละชนไวด็อกเตอร์วังโมนันดาสันคัมแอนไลท์เดอะแคนดอลพลิสสมอะนโมเตเนกังเนสมอดมอมกมาบอมังกุยมาจูมาของแอนเรชาร์ด Please come and light the call. a n o m o t a n a s o m a n o m o t a n i k a b o c h i p r a t i p t v a i p e r a t a n a t r a i s o m a n o m o t a n i สาธุสาธุสาธุปุถทังธรรมังสังขังโปเจเมโซเอเวอร์บอดี้พลีสบีสิทธิ์ทิศวิวิลบิเกนเดดามะทอกศูนย์ Right now, I'd like to invite Dr. Wang Mo to please give a short biography of our Dhamma speaker for tonight. A very good evening to all of you. Tonight, we are very blessed to have Venerable Ajahn Jiwiko. Who is an American monk, ordained within the Thai forest tradition of Ajahn Chah in 2006 at Hua Pa Pong. He began his monastic training in Thailand at Hua Pa Nana Chat. The international monastery associated with Ajahn Chah, and lived in his community for six years. Over his monastic career, he has spent time with many teachers, both Thai and Western, and has traveled and lived in various monasteries around the world. He has spent time in Thailand, Australia, the United States, Canada, and is now currently living in India. Ajahn Jiwiko has spent time with various teachers, and finds much inspiration and connection with the teachings of Longpo s a m e d o the senior Western disciple of Ajahn Chah. Now, I've had a wonderful opportunity to spend time with Venerable Ajahn c h e w i k o Almost a month and a half ago, he was invited to speak at another program when I first arrived in India. So this is his second Dhamma talk, and it is very delightful to. Here in 
from a forest tradition, especially from the Ajahn Chah, uh, that's very focused on meditation and living in more of a simple life as a monk. And we've had many of the teachers from this tradition speak on wise guidance on Dhamma and practice that for me feels very fulfilling and very wise, simple advice about how to bring the Dhamma into our life. And also he has a great sense of humor. So I've had a chance to laugh a few times and I've really enjoyed just having ordinary conversation and he allows us to feel very comfortable and at ease with any kind of conversation that we have. So I'm very happy to have you here, Ajahn, tonight. It's a real blessing. And especially coming from the United States to have an American bhikkhu uh, presenting on the last night of our Dharma Talk series for this year's 18th International Tipitaka Chanting Ceremony. These talks are live streamed, so they are available online if you go to lbdfi.org and you can see all of the various talks. But tonight we conclude with this talk with Ajahn Jewiko, an American Theravada bhikkhu following in the lineage of the Ajahn Chah tradition. Welcome all. Some of Kun looks like that Wang Mo, the band, Rebro of Umpi, Chiva Provot, Sankai Proba, but the Chikun, Ajahn, Chiva Kao, the Lok Min Bapi South, Pungarian, Samati, Chitran, Chnam, Hai Ban, Subsai, Pratoa, Two Tang Sakan Lok, Provot Sankai Proba, but the Chikun, ជីវកោលោកជាជនជាតិអាមេរិកកាំងបានឧបសម្បទាហើយបានកុងនៅក្នុងសហគមន៍នោះអស់រយៈពេលអូស្ត្រាលីសហរដ្ឋអាមេរិកកាណាដាបច្ចុប្បន្ននេះព្រះអង្គគុំនៅប្រទេសឥណ្ឌាព្រះជាគុណជីវកោបានចំណាយពេ
อาญาจะทั้งสันตยทางสตตาปารักยังทางเจตกาสะท้อมแมงเพรังวินาจยังจังกายยังสะตังจังปนแทงอภิธรมมาจำดันตรงจรีบทบัดสัตว์อันตนตีหิบตุ่มปลลพิบบาปไกรกรังตนตึงเปลียงทอใจจะบังไอ้ลูตรงบ้านตรังเตรียดอนังผมกันตายสัตว์คลังกลางดอยกามผมยลตามไตรเลียงลายไอ้เลยยลคลังหายดอยอมนาจเปลียงมีนบนบาบานดับเต็งสนาปัญญาทลาหลังเลิกมนสอมเปรียงดอมีนบนตรงนิมนต
Namo tassa bhagavato arahato samma sambuddhassa Namo tassa bhagavato arahato samma sambuddhassa Namo tassa bhagavato arahato samma sambuddhassa Bhutang dhammang sankhang namasa Nhật mô tạc xạ thực kẹt vẹt tàu ả rẻ hạ tàu xăm ma xăm bố tạc hạ xạ Nhật mô tạc xạ thực kẹt vẹt tàu ả rẻ hạ tàu xăm ma xăm bố tạc hạ xạ Nhật mô tạc xạ thực kẹt vẹt tàu ả rẻ hạ tàu xăm ma xăm bố tạc hạ xạ xông đà mạ xa ca chùm bố bạch bố bạch thô nâng bạch xong So I'll just uh, first of all um, ask permission to, from the senior monks and also all the other sangha members, all the bhikkhus, all the nuns, all the laymen and laywomen gathered here today. I seek permission just to say a few words, a few words on Dhamma, just some reflections to share. <laughs> Um, it's a real um, kind of honor uh, or a privilege, privilege to um, join this evening and uh, share some reflections, especially at this um, auspicious location, of course, in the Buddhist tradition, this being the kind of the place where it all it all started. So sitting under the tree, listening to the introduction of the uh, the invitation and feeling some drops of water coming from from the tree. Kind of a nice little moment from uh, my subjective experience. <laughs> In joining in at the end of this uh, period of the Tripitaka chanting, and uh, you know myself having come to Bodh Gaya a few times, um, it's such an obvious, say, external display of, of faith. People from uh, all, all various countries, say this year, especially um, hosted by Cambodia, but also all the other Theravadan countries who have joined in uh, in this celebration, in this uh, reflection of of the chanting of uh, of the teachings. And I'm guessing for many people here, we've come from all different directions, all different journeys, say, traveling by airplanes and trains, Organizing our schedules, uh, organizing all the um, all the events which have happened here. So just the amount of work and effort which has been done, both individually but both collectively, 
um, is quite inspiring, especially one, when one just takes a look around and sees the attention to detail in, say, the flower arrangements and uh, the arrangements of the, of the shrine, but also arranging of the, um, yeah, the various elements of, of, the, of the function. យើងទាំងអស់គ្នាមកពីទីកន្លែងផ្សេងផ្សេងនៅក្លាស់ជិះរទេះផ្លើងជិះឡាននៅក្លាស់ជិះយន្តហោះហើយបានមកប្រជុ
And unlike many other, say, other religions or practices where um, faith is really placed on an external, um, or putting our faith into something else, in the practice, we're really encouraged to find that faith within our own hearts, to find the confidence in our own minds that we too can practice and recognize the same Dhamma, which the Buddha realized, as well as all the Arahants over the last centuries. ការបដិបត្តិធម៌នៅក្នុងពុទ្ធសាសនាមិនមែនជាអ្វីដែលទាក់ទងទៅនឹងជំនឿ <coughs> And so whatever, say, inspiration or, um, uh, yeah, whatever energy that arises, say, from, from coming to an event like this, we have to nourish, uh, we have to nourish that within our minds and take it back with us to wherever we're going. Because the Dhamma isn't something that is to be found in a certain place. The Dhamma is recognized within the mind. We have these conventions, we have these conventions of practice, the conventions of the teaching, the conventions of the Patimoka, the conventions of the Vinaya. We also have the conventions of meditation techniques. And these meditation techniques are the things that we we practice and work on within our within ourselves. With the guidance, say, starting from the Buddha himself down to teachers in the modern age, we have the instructions. We have mountains and mountains of information, mountains of YouTube videos, Dhamma talks, and all the rest, but really ultimately comes down to doing it ourselves. And if we look at our lives, we may may wonder what it is that drew us towards towards Buddhism. For a lot of people, it might have just been the fortune of, say, being born and growing up in a Buddhist culture. Or say for uh, foreigners, because of again the age of information, it wasn't. It's not that hard to come across these teachings. But we all have this opportunity to practice. And maybe for the next period of time, we can do a little bit of meditation together as a group. So if I would suggest everybody finding a nice, comfortable posture, if you haven't already done so. Some 
Chẳng ọc nế xâm rùl ai dạ bọt xâm cua và xanh bà ách dân nâng phở xa mát thị. And the emphasis here is in extending and straightening our backs, attentive and alert. And the focus here, I'm repeating, and the focus here is to straighten our backs with attentiveness and alertness. We want to develop a posture of alertness yet also being able to let ourselves relax. So as we extend our spine from the pelvis, straightening our backs, we can also let the muscles relax around the bones. We can bring awareness to our face. And noticing any tension that we're holding in the eyes or the jaw. And there's nothing we really need to do other than let awareness pass over the face. And in a similar way, noticing any tension in the neck or the shoulders. And So relaxing, relaxing any areas in the lower back. And then just letting yourself arrive here and now. All the efforts and the travels to get to this place is now behind you. And the past is now just a memory arising in consciousness. All the anticipations of what we'll do next, where we're going next, what's tomorrow and the day after, is also just a figment of the imagination. And so as we drop the past, drop the future, and just arrive, settle in this moment. We can also open our awareness through sound by listening to the environment around us. Allowing the mind to grow more spacious. Noticing the distant sounds of the horns on the streets. The distant chanting. The sounds of the broom sweeping around the, the, the hall.
just as the day calms down, we can allow our minds to calm down. The activities are settling. We can also bring attention to the feelings of having a physical body. And how we experience that body in this moment. Feeling ourselves connected to the earth or the chair. Aware of our posture. It's quite easy to notice the inhalation and exhalation of the breath. There may be a certain area where this is more pronounced or easier to notice. Whether we feel the air moving through our nose. Or the rising and the falling of our chest. Or even our bellies pushing against our t-shirts or the cloth. Or maybe we don't even need to go to such a specific area, but just noticing the whole body breathing. And we can use the sensations of breathing or the awareness of breathing to anchor the mind, the yeah. mind which is continually moving to the past, to the future, or into proliferation. Yeah. It's often when we're new to meditation practice, we actually realize how out of control our minds actually are. We've become slaves of distraction in this modern world. There's so much momentum of the mind already to go in all various directions. But we use something very basic, very simple for it to anchor the mind in the moment. 
มูลฐานนี้นำไปตรุตรงเพลิดเพลินระบยืนเราไม่ได้ notice the mind has become distracted and lost in another thought. We simply just come back, back to the breath, back to the body, or back to sounds, something to anchor us in this moment. นับเป็นในยังจับรำแต่ละจัดระบายยังคือยังเคยจัดบานระเบิดระเบียบตีกันไหลแต่มันทไปเตยังปรังเตียงสมาระใดระบายยังหลังวิ่งจับรำตะเลยตันทามใจตันทามโจรและนี่คือ what is meant by called establishing mindfulness becoming aware of something ในไทยไทยทางสตปทานหรือการดำกอสมาระดัยดำไปกำหนัดดังในสเพียบทัวได้การนั่งรันลด And as many of us know, the Buddha instructed starting with the body as a place. เรศมาสัมปตบานตรงบงเรียนในกรรมฐานจับได้มัมปีพลอยกาย A place for our awareness to be trained. ลักกายนี้คือเจียตีตั้งดำไปอับรมจัดระบายเย็ Awareness of the posture. ยังเบียนสมาระใดกำหนัดดังตะเลอเอริยาบัตดังปวน Or awareness of the breathing. หรือก็สเตจดังนักนงอนาปาดังธรรมเจนโจน It doesn't matter where you come from or what you believe in you have the breath and you have the body ยังจีนนาบุปิตินากระดอยสำคัญดังอักเนียสัตเตมีนดังธรรมได้ยังอาจโยกมาจีอารมณ์ในกรรมฐาน If we're finding it difficult to stay with the breathing because of our mind being too restless or too agitated, เป็นคลายเย็นเมียนรำธาปิบากตรบตรงลอยจัดระบายเย็นเป็นคลายลอยจัดก่ออันเตะอันเตะ We can also add a mental repetition of a word. In Thailand, often the word b u t o Is used in correlation with the breathing. In the t h a i l a d l o b t o n g r i n p a s a n b a j a t n i r e r v e r y a n g a i p e v n i p i t a p u t t o k b a On the in breath, one can think quietly to oneself, b u t and on the exhale, thinking do. Yang a i 
Other words such as metta, or dhammo, really any word that one can aspire to. And again, just using this internal repetition to help support our attention to stay with the breath. However, if the mind is already feeling quite settled and quite peaceful, one need not bring up a word in the mind and just observe the natural respiration of the body. And we shouldn't be coming tense by doing this. This should be quite a relaxing and opening exercise. If you're feeling any kind of tightness in the head, say between the eyes, maybe one can consider moving one's attention down towards the chest or the belly. And as the mind begins to settle, it also becomes more clear. A simile which was famously used was that of a pond, imagining that, say, the weather has calmed down, the storms are over, and the waves of the pond or the water of the pond settles down. And as the waves on the pond settle, we can begin to actually see into the pond, say, see the different creatures or the floor of the pond. And in the same way, when we're practicing settling the mind, practicing samatha, we become to see the mind more clearly. Just as one, say, brings a microscope or a telescope into focus and able to be seeing the things more clearly. Do 
มึงเคยกันแต่จะบักในวัดทอละอัตตอันนี้เป็นการสื่อสารแบบเราสามารถเปลี่ยนแปลงประสิทธิภาพของชีวิตของเราได้อย่างไรเช่นการเปลี่ยนแปลงประสิทธิภาพของชีวิตของเราได้อย่างไรเช่นการเปลี่ยนแปลงประสิทธิภาพ The world of the six senses. ก็เป็นภพในอายตนะเต็มประมวย All of our us live our lives, experiencing sights, sounds, tastes, smells, and touch, as well as mental cognition. เป็นภพโลกเต็มประมวยได้ยังอาจไปสาวเทินบานในรูปสำเลงพลันรู้หนังเผาทับเปียทอมเมรัม This is the world as we experience it ในหายคือจีปิภพโลกได้เยอะอาจปิสาวเทิน And through any of these senses we can explore and reflect on the three characteristics of experience กรบอารมณ์เตียงประมวยยังอาจพิจารณาตัดตามไตรเนตทอร์ The inherent nature of our sense experience The inherent nature of our sense experience อารมณ์ในทอร์ได้ทัดนึ่งนองสเปียวแบบเปิดระบบล้วน Noticing how sounds just arise on their own accord กำหนดดังตาสำเร็จกาดลาได้ไฮต์นาเปลี่ยนการผลักดูตาในสำเร็จดังนุ่มคือการเกิดและเสียไปโดยไม่เราเลือกที่จะให้เขาทำมันสำเร็จและเป็นการกาดนังการลดตัวเองจะทำมันได้ We can see the changing nature of this experience. ยังอาจเคยเนื้อบมราบมรัวเพียบพลัดประตูมันเตียงตัวในทอแตงนุ่ม In the same way, we can notice with the visual field. ยังก็อาจจับประดังเตลือบกลนงสเพียบโดยเนี่ย How sights arise and pass. ตารูปการลานนั่งรถรถตัวเองได้หายนะ And also the mind, as we settle the mind, practicing meditation, we can watch how things arise and pass away without us choosing for them to do so. โดยคณีนั่งกาเป็นเด็ดเมื่อจัดยังอายปิจารณาเคยจัดการนั่งรถรถกรุบขณะแตงอ And as I mentioned earlier, we keep the breath. We keep the breath to help anchor. The mind in this say ocean of experience. โดยธรรมบาลเดินลางจังยังโยกดังหามนี้จีเครื่องดำใบระซาในสเตดังอาจกบจัดบังในโตสะเพดัง So just like any other skill that one develops, say learning musical instruments or playing sports. Or any of these things, it takes practice. การฝึกหัดจัดมันเข้านาปีกาเล่นประกมโดดันไตรเตคือตระกาเปเปลียดำใบหัดซอม 
we have to become more familiar with our subjective experience. Paying attention to the conditions that we put the mind in. And this kind of comes all back to this uh, convention of having a, a meditation practice. We can develop various techniques. We can have various centers or even areas of our house or even monasteries and temples such as this. But wherever you go, your mind will be there with you. And so finding ways to develop and encouraging the practice of mindfulness in our day-to-day -day lives beyond just, say, sitting and uh, meditation. So we'll spend the next five minutes or so just sitting quietly together. I'm going to stop talking for a few minutes and just see if you can be aware, aware of something, whether it's sounds, feelings in the body, or breathing. And we can all enjoy a nice, peaceful few minutes here as, as things quiet down, as the day comes to a close as even this chanting week also draws to a close. ទៅទៀតនេះអាត្មាជប់និយាយហើយចឹងនាំគ្នាអង្គុយសមាធិ <coughs> ដែលការនឹងរលត់ឬអាចផ្ដោតស្មារតីទៅលើដឹងហើមចេញ
closer to the end of this evening, if we can take a few moments and intentionally spread, spread the merits of our efforts, our efforts in, say, this meditation, but also our efforts in getting here and participating in the Tripitaka ceremony. So we can ແລະຫຼັງຈາກການສະມາທິ So we can intentionally bring up our mother's face in our minds whether our mother is alive or deceased. We can hold an image of her in our minds and share the goodness of our hearts with our mother. All the efforts which we've made in our lives in growing up, developing our hearts, developing wisdom, we want to share this with our mother. In a similar way, we can bring up an image of our father to mind. Again, whether alive or deceased, doesn't matter, whatever image we can arise in the mind. And again, sharing our appreciation, sharing the goodness of our practice with our fathers. And and really trying to connect this on the heart level, really develop that feeling of gratitude, appreciation, as well as extending our own, um, our own appreciation for the goodness. And we can widen this circle and include other family members, brothers and sisters. Taking thoughts of goodwill. Using this intentions of sharing as a ways to also develop metta, loving kindness within the heart. We can also include our friends or our loved ones in our minds. And maybe these people are looking back at you with smiles on their faces. Because they see the goodness in you just as you see the goodness in them. We can 
and also bring to mind any people who have helped us in our lives, whether it's school teachers or spiritual teachers. And extending our gratitude for the teachings which we've received. And for all of us to acknowledge that we have the same human potential as the Buddha had. And as I started this talk speaking about faith, about the faith in the Buddha, the faith in the teachings, we can have faith and confidence in our own our own human mind to realize the same truth, the one truth which the, the Buddha was pointing to. We don't need to travel far and wide and gain more and more experiences. We have to use these practices of sila, samadhi, and panya. To develop our minds, to calm our minds, and to start to see things more clearly with the eye of wisdom. And may the fruition of this practice lead to all of you recognizing Nibbana. Recognizing the Dhamma apparent here and now. Timeless. If somebody has a bell, they could ring it. Ding. Ding. So the Dhamma talk has come to an end and we would like to say sadhu together as a way of appreciation to the Dhamma. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. And right now we would like to give the floor for the questions. If anybody has a question, you can ask to Ajahn. Okay, over there. Thank you, Venerable. <clears throat> My uh, question is uh, about um, intuition versus the thinking mind. Uh, so my this question has two three questions so uh, the first one is uh, uh, do we find any uh, reference of the word intuition in the tipitak uh, what i mean is the pali word what it could be uh, because um, i am not aware of that as of now and uh, 
uh, we have always been um, so uh, this the circle of samsara that uh, we are in right uh, uh, so the crux of the entire teaching is basically breaking the pattern and that is how we uh, come out of it now uh, can we say that following our intuition is breaking the pattern and we are coming out of the sansara? And if yes, then uh, what is the best uh, way you could explain how do we follow our intuition um, to its fullest uh, potential? Um, because sometimes it's really difficult, uh, you know, with thinking mind running parallelly and it's really a monkey mind and it would could really uh, dominate our entire process and could confuse us. Uh, so this, this is my question and basically, um, oh. yeah, so up to you. Yeah, your, conf your uh, question is quite confusing. No. Um, do you want to answer this one? No. You. Yeah, um, well, I guess to start with, I'm definitely not like a Pali scholar, so um, I might not be the best person to ask um, if, if the word intuition uh, is is there uh, say in the in the Pali canon? Uh, anybody? Can anybody off the top of their mind say the Pali word for intuition? Uh, maybe not. But uh, anyways, uh, we can just talk more practically about you know, yeah, we can. We certainly have uh, our intuitions, which are it's kind of a mix of feelings, but it, it's also uh, more of like a gut feeling, uh, you know, rather than an, an actual say. Um, thought process and um, say for instance my teacher Lumpur Sumed is often often saying like you know talking about like say intuitive intuitive awareness or um, yeah trusting in that in that intuition um, but that you know that doesn't necessarily mean just kind of like follow your heart you know which is another kind of cliche kind of term that is thrown around oh, uh, just follow your heart but you know as Buddhists we understand that the heart is also filled with greed, hatred, and delusion. So, you know, we have to be, uh, we have to use a degree of wisdom. Um, and that's, that's kind of what, how I've held it with, with this intuition is that's, that's the wisdom part of our, of our understanding is, is like really trusting in that. Again, it starts with, you know, thinking about different elements of, of the Buddhist teachings or the way things are, say, explained, but when we actually un understand things on an intuitive level, it's no longer just a thought. You know, it really kind of hits home. It kind of hits almost like, say, in the belly. And this can be something as simple as, um, you know, we can, we can easily just say, like, okay, this body is in self, right? We can go around saying this and sound aloof to our, our bodies and, and really wise. But, um, you know, in, in reality, that's often just a thought that we think that we're not attached to the body and say even doing specific meditation practices of contemplating the body um, looking at different parts of the body the like the nails or or whatever um, yeah when this is done as like a, as a thought process or an exercise it is thinking but when we actually start to see it with the eyes of wisdom it has a different kind of flavor to it and that intuition uh, yeah it's 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 more of a feeling it's more of a feeling but uh, I don't really think I'm actually getting anywhere close to answering your specific question. But am I get if you want to nudge me in a certain direction to get back on course? Yes, that helps. Thank but, you. Yeah. yeah, my mind has to restart. Actually, I got quite calm just yeah. <laughs> talking earlier. So, so, for example, just to understand this better, uh, you know, uh, so uh, the temperature around us below 10 degrees tonight, but all of us are wearing all our warm gears, but you are not. So uh, my question is, do you do this out of intuition or <laughs> your thinking mind tells you to do, just for a better sake of understanding? Oh, no, I have a shawl in my bag. I just don't feel cold. I had some nice warm tea before before okay. coming, and I'm fine. I mean, I'll get cold if I sat here another half an hour and would put on more clothes. That's, okay. yeah. I mean, yeah, of course you can, you can push with idealism and all these sorts of things, but yeah, it's all a lot of thinking. And, yeah. Thank you. Richard also has a question. <laughs> Richard? Maybe you have to translate the question and answer. Yeah, I, I will. Maybe academic one. <laughs> she Bhante, I have make to, it easy, Richard. I have two questions. Oh, make um, them easy. The first one is uh, right mindfulness 
and right samadhi are the two path factors. And a lot of meditation teachers say that mindfulness leads to vipassana. Vipassana isn't a path factor, which is interesting given how popular the name is. Um, and I wonder if you could comment on this, because it seems to me that it may be right samadhi that leads to vipassana, and right mindfulness might be something different. And I just wonder if you've ever discussed that in your sangha. It's a bit of a technical point, but I think it's interesting. Yeah, uh, I'll do it. Uh, so yeah, uh, you know, obviously the word vipassana is, is thrown around uh, a lot, in, especially in uh, the Theravada world and in the, in the meditation world. And it's almost, you know, it's become like a technique. Often people see vipassana as, as a technique. Um, but in a lot of ways, vipassana is just say, seeing things clearly. Um, and things, as we were saying, with samadhi and, and mindfulness, these are ways in which we develop the mind to see things more clearly. So um, Ajahn Chah used to speak of samatha, or samadhi, and vipassana as two ends of the same stick. When you're practicing one, you're actually practicing both. Because of, say, as path factors, when you're talking about mindfulness and also the development of, of samadhi, that's also being um, influenced or, um, say, led by right view. Um, right view, which is like, say, the, the wisdom of the, um, of the direction and why we would we be doing things to begin with. And then use it as these, like, say, path factors come in into balance, say, with a with a calm mind, with mindfulness like directed in the right way, we can also be reflecting on like the Four Noble Truths, the arising of dukkha, the, you know, the, the reason why we have dukkha or suffering, and the cessation as well as, uh, as, well as the path factors. So yeah, you're correct that there's, there's no samma vipassana on the Eightfold Path. We can use, uh, you know, right, when we're talking about right mindfulness, we're also looking at these things through the lens of dukkha, anicca, and anatta. And, uh, you know, a lot of meditation circles, they just, they stick with anicca. Like that's the one kind of characteristic of, of certain vipassana techniques. And there's many ways that we can inquire into our experience, even through the lens of anatta, asking who who is this happening to? And there's a second question which I think relates to this, which is what in your understanding is nirvana in this regard? Why would being mindful of your body lead to liberation? Why is that a path? Because as one one becomes to see see things more clearly, that veil of delusion can drop away, and starting with the body can be uh, can actually be a, a quite a profound insight within itself, recognizing that we aren't we aren't this thing that we take ourselves to be. 
สมดูรบกลับตริชาตลอดได้คืออะไรบางครั้งแต่เมียนสเตดังในกรอบขังกายยังหากายยาโนปัสสนาสตปทานนั้นอาจเพื่อเอายังรู้จักตกบ้านอายังตราดังทอบ้านฉันบ้านเบาสายทาเพื่อยังกำหนดดังในสัจจะทัวสมัยนองกรอบขังกายก็ได้คือยังอาจตุ่มเละเจ้าในโมหะในอวิชีพรู้ยังกำหนดดังในไว้แต่จีสัจจะโดยฉะนั้นสัจจะทัวนั้นไอ้คือเพื่อยังชูตระกาตราดังทอบ้าน And when one recognizes nibbana, that's that's the that's seeing through through ignorance. One has a recognition of reality that which isn't veiled by ignorance. And yeah, why the body is used is yeah, as I was just saying, is it's a it's a good place to start because um, it's actually a lot easier to contemplate the body than the mind, especially initially. Um, if our if our minds are scattered and busy and moving this way and that, it's really actually. Hard to jump straight into like observing the mind as a as a meditation object. So we can use something as coarse and solid as the body, as the posture, you know, and the breath. And once say we've calmed down a bit, then we can say move on to feelings, and then we can move on to you know exploring the different aspects of mind. ยังโยกายนี่มาเจริญกรรมฐานคือเงยนงกากำหนดจีเจียงจัดไปปลูกกายนี่วิจีวัตถุกรดเกลียดยังยังอาจไปสาวเคยงี้เจียงพลอยจัดแต่รับนายังพิจารณาเรยเรยแต่เลิกายตื้อนาคาเจาะชุบบ้านขนมรูปนั้นกันได้เจาะล้างเจาะล้างเราหดแต่ยังอาจโจชะเลยแต่ขนมเนียมบาน But this really all comes back to the Buddha's encouragements is to to come and see to see for yourself and then beyond get beyond questions and doubts about what is nibbana and And all the rest of it. Thank you, Bhante. I have a question about um, the feeling of certain sensations in the body and letting go of that sensation. It almost feels like it's a physical manifestation of energy, especially if there's strong feelings. It seems like how can you let it go? It's almost like a physical pain, uh, and if you, how to, you know, if it keeps, it's almost like it's it's clumped together or something. How do you, and it keeps coming, and it, how do you let it go? Uh, I mean, it's a good question. How do you let things go? Um, but I mean, it's kind of a hard, specific thing to to answer. Um, We don't. We're, no, we're not necessarily looking to say suppress things or get rid of things. You have to. All, we have to recognize that the the reason this certain thing has arisen is because of certain conditions. So we have to maybe uh, reflect a little bit on what kind of conditions might be happening, say around us. Say whether it's actually something physical, like you know, you could change your posture or you could get up for a walk. Would that help? Um, especially if it's a painful, a painful um, sensation coming up. Um, but yeah, I think I'm actually running out of steam on um, on this question. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much. We can talk about it over coffee. Yeah. สมดูจงกราวนั้นกวาดบานสัวไปกวาดเพื่อสมาธิเตจเจตัยทงนคลวนโดยเมียนตกกับเวทนาการในเลิกกายนั้นงะจังเพื่อยังไม่นำไปเอาอ๋อตกกับเวทนาการชื่อจับไปเซ็นเซ็นนั้นเราบอกสายท่าตีมวยก่อนนะกำหนดดังเธอก็เพียวแวะทอนาได้การบางกำหนดดังทวีการไอเมสมาได้ดังจังเต้หรือก็อาจจะดูไอยาบัดไปยังกุยเธอวิจกโรยไปยังดูไอยาบัดเธอได้จังกรรมเธอไอคลาจังเต้ Yeah, that that's the danger of a Q and A session at the end of a, a long day. You don't know what will arise and what mental energy ceases.
สาธุสาธุสาธุสาธุสาธุสาธุสาธุสาธุสาธุสาธุสาธุสาธุสาธุรอนตายบานลืงทอติงสนางบริษัทเจรียงทลารีงรีไกรบานสดับเปรอะทวเวงคลายหายมีอันอัตนัยคลำสานหงอังอาวเปรอกุนเปรอะกังรนาสาวยังสร้างสนาดัลปรนันปีรุ่งสัจทอลอปีจันปัญหาชีวิตรบงสัตว์เปรียงทอเปรียมโดยเชียงยารเมงกัมกาวิกัมจัดกิเลหตนหาวินิหงบัตโรสายโรสัตตรอดปีจันสาธุสาธุเปรียงกุนนให้เลยจำหายบานสนามปนเวทเย่สะท้อลอปีจันหายจึงอาหนัดกันมีตาสมอานุโมทยานีสาธุสาธุเลตอสคอนคลูดบิดเมตตาแชนติงตกกะหับปัตตาเจเนนตงคามพยาปัตตาเจเนปยาโสกาปัตตาเจเนโสกาหอนตุสาเปปิปานิโนอนุโมทนาและจุนไวดรวังโม for a few speaks and also present offer the gift to our d h a m m a speaker สาธุสาธุสา